and it's time again to open this month's Sephora Play unboxing. I'm a little bit nervous. It feels a little bit lightweight this month. I was hoping for a super awesome box this month because it has been my birthday month and look at me opening stuff with scissors for once like a normal person. Oh my gosh, I hope it's not too distracting, but it is literally pouring in rain and storming outside today. It is such a mess in Texas lately, so if you hear distracting noises, I'm sorry. August 2016, the eye openers. I guess that is the theme for this month and as always in the Sephora play box you get this little card and if you take it in and you make a purchase you get I think it is 50 yes 50 extra beauty insider points I'm so excited to look down and see this month's bag it's definitely my favorite one we've ever gotten. I think that this is the fourth month now that they have done these little pouches and this is what all the products come in, but this one has like a little winky face with eyelashes. Definitely, definitely my favorite one we have ever gotten. Eye openers, I don't really know what that means, but let's find out. That was anticlimactic. The very first thing that I am seeing on top looks like it's gonna be a deluxe sample size or a travel size of Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara. I would argue that this is a deluxe sample size and not a travel size. I think that I have used this mascara once before, but like I've said in other recent unboxing videos, I love it when I get small sample sizes of mascaras because I do change my mascaras out incredibly frequently for my own special eye sensitivity issues. So when I get these, I'm always so excited because I feel like I can use them all up and that I'm not being very wasteful with products. I love it when mascaras have big fluffy wands like that. Let's see if I can open this up and get any more information on the product. It's supposed to be lengthening and volumizing with triple black pigment and a buildable creamy formula. Sounds nice. Up next, I am seeing a Sephora product and this is a contour eye pencil 12 hour wear and it is waterproof. We got shade 15, which is a taupe shimmer. 15 different colors that we could have gotten. What is this called? flirting game. Ew, Sephora. Uh, so let me go ahead and do a swatch. Ooh, it's very beautiful. It's sort of like a grayish, purpley sort of, um, where is a Swamp Queen palette? This will go with a couple of my own eyeshadow shades quite nicely. Come on, I can't find my own palette. On this little box, it says that this is a taupe color, but it almost looks a little bit on the purpley side to me. It literally is called taupe. And for a little shameless self promo, I can definitely see myself using this eyeliner shade with Haunting, Uncommon, or Man Cat out of our very own Swamp Queen palette with Tarte. I will just say that this palette is on its last, 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 last leg. Like if you see it in Sephora or Ulta or anywhere and you've been thinking about getting it, you better get it because it is pretty well near sold out everywhere, all over the place. It's almost gone. Uh, but if you do have it and you do get this, they go great together. Next, we have a Lancome product, and this is the Energy de Vie, and it is a smoothing and glow boosting liquid. And I think, I think that I have bought the full size of this a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it comes in a tallish green bottle, and I'm pretty sure I have it. So this is a concentrated energizing liquid lotion, which visually relieves dullness, diminishes signs of fatigue, and promotes a healthy looking glow. So you apply this immediately after cleansing. I just put a little drop on to show you guys, and it's just kind of like a clearish liquid. So you really can't get a swatch out of it or anything. It has a very refreshing smell. 
a little bit planty. I remember enjoying this stuff when I had it before. It rubs in very quickly and it does leave your skin feeling smoother and softer and more moisturized. It's a good thing. Up next is a product from a brand I can never pronounce correctly. Caudalie, Caudalie, French. I don't know. This is the Reservatrol Lift Eye Lifting Balm for sensitive eyes. So glad I got a product for super sensitive people. This is an innovative eye cream which visibly lifts and smooths the eye area with a breakthrough patented formula while reducing the look of dark circles and puffiness. Now I will just say unfortunately I have tried I've tried some products from this brand. There is an elixir spray. I love it. It works amazingly for me, amazingly for my skin. But then I tried a moisturizer from this brand and it really made my skin like freak out. Red, irritated. Luckily, after washing my face several times and kind of cooling it off, um, I got the irritation to go down, so I am a little bit nervous about applying this product to my face, specifically the eye area. Uh, so I'm gonna just do a little swatch right here, and once again, it's just kind of like a clear cream, so nothing really to swatch or show you guys. It does smell sort of fruity. Also a little bit stupid of me to put like two different smelling creams in the same exact area. It feels really nice on my skin, so I'm tempted to use it. I might get wild and try it, and then if I have another reaction, I know to kind of like stay away from it. The last little thing that we get in here is a Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in the shade i544 and it is a highly saturated iridescent pink granite eyeshadow made with a unique gel powder formula and ultra fine pigment pig pig pigments ultra fine pigments for a smooth color uh so this looks incredibly teeny tiny to me and then I thought of what it looks like, and it looks like the MAC 9 quad eyeshadows. And I looked at the back, this is Burgundy Times 9, and this shadow that we just got in the Sephora Play box is exactly the same uh, 0.02 size that we got. Not the tiniest eyeshadow that I've ever gotten in my life. The really awesome thing that I feel like is that the shadow that they gave us communicates really well with the liner shade that they gave us. And I think that this is the exact same liner shade that everybody got. At first when I saw that little package, I thought, oh, you could get 15 different shades. But I think that they're just showing you the 15 different shades that you can purchase it in. Because on the actual little printout here, look at this slew on the actual printout it does say rise to the taupe <laughs> so I think everybody did get that taupe shade and this shimmer eyeshadow shade and they go together really nicely so you could do like a very simple you know one color smoky eye and liner look with these two products I love makeup forever shadows I'm not sure if I've ever had this particular color before but once again to me maybe my eyes are just broken now but this looks more of a purpley shade to me than a pink which I welcome because I love purple a lot more than I love pink. I can definitely see myself using both of these products. So the last thing that we have is the perfume sample and you get a perfume sample in this box every single month and this month we got Clean Reserve uh, in Blonde Rose. I have had clean scents before. I really like them because they smell nice and clean. They're all usually very light fragrances. I've never tried one that I've had like an allergic reaction to or anything. So I'm pretty excited to smell this one. Ooh, it is a very nice, delicate rose scent. I like it. I can definitely see myself wearing this one. I would maybe even get a rollerball in this. This definitely has a sort of old-fashioned, old-timey scent, which 
I love. Dare I say that that's my favorite perfume sample that I have ever gotten in one of these boxes? It's very, very nice. That is it for this month's box. I am pretty impressed with this one, you guys. I'm so glad that it was a good one for August. The bag, definitely my favorite ever. The perfume, probably my favorite sample we've ever gotten ever. And just the liner and the eyeshadow, that's enough to do it for me on this one. Oh my gosh, and the mascara. You could totally do a whole eye look with this bag. This box is $10 a month. I've been doing it, I think, pretty much this whole year now. I think that this is a good month. We've gotten some good months and we've gotten a little less good months. This one was definitely one of the better boxes that I have gotten in this subscription service. So thank you guys so, so much for spending some time with me today, for hanging out. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye! Oh my gosh, you guys, I was just picking up everything, and I noticed that the bottom of the bag says wink outside of the box instead of think outside of the box. Why am I so amused by that? So cute. Best bag ever! Okay, I'm going again now. Bye!